On the show tonight, we welcome spring a little early at the Spring Fling Extravaganza. We have your ticket to the 93rd annual Pride of the Prairies Bull Show and Sale. And coming up, the Border City gets a visit from Premier Redford. But first, my guest is a Juno award-winning musician whose big dreams took him from Bonneville to Nashville. And now Clayton Bellamy is encouraging local students to reach for their dreams. I'm Kayla Buchanan, and this is Around the Region. Everyone's a Dreamer is uh, not only a single, it's a, a program that I started with the Northern Lights School Division and it's all about inspiring kids to uh, find their passion in life and pursue it. So uh, this week I'm going to visit 16 schools in five days and over 4,000 kids and talk to them about following their dreams. And what are some of the things that you cover in your presentations? Uh, you know, mostly do what I say, not what I do. No, I'm just <laughs> kidding. Uh, you know, uh, what I cover in the program is uh, Things like do what you love and you'll never work a day in your life. Uh, to surround yourself with excellence and uh, reminding kids that there's no such thing as luck. That luck is preparation meeting opportunity. And then inserting all kinds of fun stories of, of my journey on the road from being a, you know, a, a kid from Bonneville, Alberta, a small town, to becoming a road hammer and a Juno Award winner and, and just the, the journey that that's taken me on. So, and trying to inspire them to, to find their own journey in life and, and uh, to you know, chase that dream. You know, it's lots of hard work. The fun part is playing music. Everybody, we do that for free. Everyone likes playing band. This whole thing has taken a year to get to get started, and along the way, I've done a few presentations. But this is really today was the first time that uh, I unveiled the whole thing, top to bottom. So uh, we got two down and uh, um, fourteen to go. <laughs> and how did you develop them? Because you have some special guests that speak on video. Yeah. Uh, I have some friends, uh, Jordan Tutu from the Nashville Predators and Terry Grant, the man tracker, who uh, volunteered to take some time out of their day and let me interview them uh, about their dreams and how they, they got to where they were in their life. So um, I do some of the video in the presentation is them speaking about their dreams and, and kind of driving home those points about, you know, really having to surround yourself with excellence and stay in school and, and, uh, and work hard at what you want to, what you want to do. And you also talk about a five-year plan. Can you tell us a little bit about your personal plan and your dreams when you were younger? Yeah, you know, that was something that was instilled in me at a young age to have a plan, this five-year plan idea. And and all it really is is, is to, to getting kids to make their dream a reality by putting it down on paper. And uh, in the five-year plan, you just make a, a list of goals. For me, it was, you know, first I had to learn to be a musician so I went to college for two years and then I had to get good at being a musician so I joined a band and started touring and then uh, year four was writing songs year five recording records and I just kept going from there and the idea is that the plan will you know obviously shift and change and and move but the goal should always remain the same and then uh, eventually you'll get there and what has it been like both for you and the students from I don't know about the kids but I'm having a blast you know I feel like a kid being out there they're excited and and they're really energetic and that obviously gets you pumped up and and they seem to be really enjoying uh, the message and obviously the videos from from heroes that they can relate to and uh, and then the songs you know we play some songs and and we all have fun together and 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 that's the main thing you know just to show them that if I can do it they can do it too and how important do you think it is to encourage kids at this age you know I think it is crucial that uh, I know I didn't it takes a village to raise a child and I didn't get to where I am without the support of of parents and family and community and and it's really I'm passionate about giving back to that because the next generation needs the same kind of support that I was given so uh, I'm excited that uh, maybe this could affect a little change. When you were growing up in Bonneville were there presentations like this or did someone tour around and talk to you guys about following your dreams? I remember seeing Gizmo Williams from the Edmonton Eskimos come to our high school uh, in BCHS so yeah there was things like that and uh, there was programs and uh, there was teachers and, and family members uh, who really propped me up and, and encouraged me to, to follow my dreams. And, and I want to be one of those people now for, for kids, you know, if I can be, uh, just to encourage them to, to take what they want to do and to chase it. Um, you know, even the support to get here today, you know, with Synovus Energy and the no uh, Northern Lights School Division has been, you know, crucial to, to accomplishing this program. And for me, getting where I was even down to you know scholarships with the with the Bonneville Grand Ole Opry 
you know, none of those things, I wouldn't be where I am today without any of those things kind of falling into place. So it, uh, it just, you know, solidifies that, that old saying that it takes a, a village to raise a child. And, and I really had the support of, of that community. Um, and, and now I'm hoping that I can give back a little bit. And what are your plans coming up? Well, my new record comes out in stores tomorrow. So I'm going to be on tour after the schools. Uh, I'm going to get back with my band and hit the road, um, playing shows all across Canada and, uh, and America and uh, promoting the new record and the new single, Everyone's a Dreamer. It was actually inspired, obviously, by the program and was written by another uh, fellow Bonneville kid, uh, Mike Plume. So he and I got together and, and wrote the song kind of around the idea of of uh, that everyone's a dreamer you know no matter no matter who you are or where you're from everyone's got a dream and they should follow it i hope the kids take away that you know the idea that if i can do it they can too that i'm just a, a regular small town kid uh, that uh, that set out on a journey and uh, accomplished what i wanted to do and and hopefully that fires them up to do the same thing and and affect a little change down the line in the world Clayton's current single, Everyone's a Dreamer, is just as inspiring as his presentations and can be found on his new album of the same name. Coming up next, we get a preview of this weekend's Big Brothers Big Sisters, Bowl for Kids' Sake.